I'm back. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Well, just as big YouTubers are saying, if you want more followers, you will need to do some product reviews or, or some tutorials, because that's what people search for. So just for this reason, I'm not uploading a scripted vlog or a short movie. This weekend, I'm uploading a video about the $50 lens that might be the best choice for you if you are a beginner. And the lens that I'm holding in my hand is the... Alright, well, I bought this lens back when I bought my Canon 80D and the only reason why I bought this one is, is because it was big. At that time, I had no clue what are the differences between the lenses. I had no clue what does a 50mm lens does or what's the difference between that lens and this lens or this lens and another lens. I had no clue. So my friend showed up like, oh, I have a lens that I'm not using anymore, you wanna buy it? And I jumped on it right away. I attached it to my camera and I started to take pictures and videos with it. Because you know, I felt more professional. I felt like I know what I'm doing when I'm carrying a huge lens like this. Huge. Did it really help me? Yes. So it's time to present you to this lens. This is the Quantaray 18 to 200 millimeter f3.5 to f6.3 lens. And I know you don't hear a lot about this or lenses like this because of a pretty easy reason. Because all you know about video and photography products and lenses is, is the things that you hear from the big ones, from Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, Peter Lindgren, Matty and, and so on. Yeah, because back two years ago the real slogan was to record with what you can, but since then YouTube, YouTube really changed the game. Because in order to get a normal paycheck, it's not enough to fill up your channel with great videos. You will need some juicy Amazon affiliate links as well. And the more expensive the object is, the more the YouTuber will get if you buy it. So will we ever hear about lenses like this from big YouTubers? Probably not. Well, don't worry. That's why I'm here. Field trip. Alright, well, another beautiful vlog section when I'm relying on the GH5's auto focus. And we are back. But I know you guys are not watching this video to hear me crying about the GH5 and the autofocus here. You guys are here to watch what I'm gonna say about this Quantaray lens. Now obviously everybody is curious of a comparison. So I took pictures with this Quantaray lens and I took pictures with the Canon 17-55 f2.8 lens. And just to add one more camera, I added my Samsung Note 9 camera. A phone. So first comes the Quantaray, then the Canon, then the Samsung. Alright, for a great comparison, I will take a close-up shot as well. And I have the same theory in here, the Quantaray, the Canon, but this is where I lose the Samsung. Whatever, be wrong. Now let's stop with the B-rolls because otherwise I will never get to the end of this video. Now let's just compare the Quantaray and the Canon. And again, just like previously, we're comparing the Quantaray and the Canon. And here I just came to the point where I gave up with the comparisons. So from now on, I just took some pictures with the Quantaray only. And I know at this moment everybody's curious if this lens is capable to take videos. And my answer is, um, kinda. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are wondering how is this doing with the, with the stabilizer. If the stabilizer is as good as the Canon's normal stabilizer. Well, if I go there, there is this cracking noise. But if I pull back one and two, two seconds, that's not bad. Out. And back on my face, 
two seconds, one second. It's, it's pretty good, it's way better than the GH5. And basically those cracking noises are the reason why you cannot use this lens in vlogs unless, unless you're using it in a manual focus, um, which makes no sense because Canon's autofocus is so great. This is the Canon lens on a rocky surface with the stabilizer on. This is the Quantaray lens on the same surface with the stabilizer on. Well, as you can see, none of these really work, but we can see the working stabilizer probably in the next shot. This is a full zoom with the stabilizer off. Now this is a full zoom with the stabilizer on. All right, well, after you seeing all these acceptable looking videos and pictures with a $50 lens, let me just put the cherry on the top and let me show you some, some more pictures that I took with this lens in the past. And I know seeing these pictures you already formed a final conclusion up in your head, but let's go through this again. Is this a super fast and super sharp camera lens? No. Is this a lens that you're gonna make a fuckload of money with? Maybe? Is this a lens that you will need in your starter kit? Definitely. Because when you start out you're probably not one of those lucky ones who can spend 5 grand on a videography or photography gear. but. If you want more information about this lens before you try finding it, well, Google is your friend. <laughs> but if I could go back in time and my friend would ask me again if I want to buy this lens, well, my answer would be, fuck yeah. Well, good luck finding this lens, because once somebody has it, won't sell it. Not for $50. So until you find it, just watch another video from me, subscribe and come back next week, because I will post a new video. Bye bye. That's it. I'm done.